Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to show you this Dash homemade dog treat maker. So I just made some homemade dog treats with this Dash. Here's what they look like and my dog Fiona loves them. So here she is chomping down on them. They taste really good, I guess. So I've got the ingredients here. We're gonna mix some up. So in the manual, there's a recipe and I made the cheddar bacon treats. So this is kind of like a waffle maker or a pancake maker, except it's got the shape of dog treats. Here's what they look like. Again, she really likes them. Okay, so we are gonna coat that with cooking oil just a little bit. You're gonna plug it in. The blue light's gonna come on. It's a little hard to see, but when the blue light goes out, that means it's preheated and ready to cook. And again, what I do is I kind of have to put my hand over to see if the light's on or off. Again, light will be on. When it goes off, that means it's, it's heated to the cr correct temperature and ready to cook. Okay, so the first thing, we need a cup of oats, old-fashioned oats. And then you're just gonna chop these up till they're just not real fine, but chopped up. Okay, so next you're gonna add a half a cup of mild cheddar cheese, and then four strips of bacon, kind of cut up into little strips. I did the pre-cooked bacon. I didn't even warm it up in the microwave. I just kind of took it out of the refrigerator, cut it up in small pieces, put it in there. Now we're going to chop all of this up together till it's kind of not super fine, but at a fine grind. Says. Okay, so it doesn't take long to get to that consistency right there. Now I heard the, the Dash dog treat maker, I kind of heard it click and the blue light is out now if I look. Okay, so next I've got one egg, beat your egg up till it's nice and mixed up like that. You're gonna stir it in there and then we gotta stir that all up till it's kind of like a mixture. Now we want this egg to evenly coat kind of everything. You're just gonna stir it around until everything's kind of like in one big clump. It's just all nice and mixed. Yeah, so see how everything's kind of being held together now with the egg. That's how you know it's ready. Okay, so this makes enough for eight of those dog treats. It can be a little tricky getting it in there. So I like to get kind of like a big spoonful Use another spoon. You want to put it in there. It's going to stick above there because the top of it will form the treat. So this is probably the hardest part, but you get kind of used to it. And you want kind of a bigger amount kind of in this area right here. Again, it's going to stick up above it a little bit to kind of form it. Okay, so I did the best I could, but I'm going to close the lid and you want to kind of press it down. That way it kind of forms into those dog treats. Okay, so now you need to set a six minute timer. These will cook for six minutes. Miss Fiona can't wait for more to get done. Now you will need a cooling rack. These will have to cool off. They're gonna be extremely hot when you first get them out. Okay, so after the six minute mark, go ahead and unplug it. That turns it off. Lift this up. And again, here's how you get them out. There are some pieces you gotta kind of break off around them, but it does make dog treats. She can't wait. There's what it looks like. So if you're able to get it kind of in that area a little bit better, you won't end up with so much stuff around the side. But these do, once these cool, you can break them apart and they look just like a dog treat. So with just a few simple household ingredients, you are able to make some really tasty dog treats. They've got several different kinds in here. They got uh, peanut butter ones, chicken and wild rice, pumpkin carrot spinach treats. So Miss Fiona has been my big helper and she gets one more treat. This would make a great present for somebody. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.